Johanka, you managed to get away? Yes, yes. They didn't even follow us. I think they just wanted to attack you. And are you all right? They didn't harm you. I'm all right. And the others, too. We're no easy mark. Praise God. It's a good thing you were there. I never thought something like that could happen. It took me by surprise, too. Be careful, Johanka. I don't like the way things are going. I will. Maybe you shouldn't speak so... critically. Someone could take offence at that. I'm only repeating what the Blessed Virgin told me. It's my duty, no matter what the obstacles. Well, if you insist. While we're on the subject, what do you think about what I preached? You spoke well. Everyone was fixed to the spot. What you said was very... Interesting. You ought to tell it to the learned masters of Prague. <laughs> That'll give them something to talk about. Really, Henry? It's hard enough talking to a few villagers. Henry, there's one more thing I'd like to talk to you about. Another sinner came to me looking for help. Would you take care of that? What, another one? Are people not capable of looking out for themselves anymore? Well... In this case, it's true they should be able to manage alone. Well, then, why are we even talking about it? This time it's about... you. Me? Everyone sins, Henry. And you're no exception. Mm, I don't know where you're going with this. And I don't like it much. No one is entirely without sin. But we must do penance and make amends. I did a lot of good, too, you know. I know, Henry. I'm not condemning you. I'm just saying you should acknowledge your sins and make amends. But what sins do you mean? You yourself should know best what you have on your conscience. Haven't you ever killed anyone, Henry? Um... All right, I killed that bastard runt, and I'd do it again. For Scalitz, and for everything else he did. Never before did I want to hurt someone so much, and it felt great smashing that evil face of his. And I'm not done yet. I'll find that Mark Vart von Aulitz, and when I'm done with him, even the demons in hell will feel sorry for him. Mary, mother of God! Such rage and hatred! You mustn't... You mustn't let it take control of you. Where there is anger, there is the devil. There was nothing else I could do. I can't help myself. I'm still so angry. Henry, if you can't learn to live with it, it will destroy you. But how? How can I reconcile myself to that? That monster killed my parents. And if you let yourself be blinded by vengeance, you'll turn into the same kind of monster as he is. I don't know how I can... Time heals all wounds. <sighs> you know, sometimes you speak like a saint. I'll try. I'll try and come to terms with it. And apart from Runt, have you ever killed someone? You told me about that murderer, but you didn't really have a choice there. But otherwise? Well, yes, but I was just defending myself, or others. I had no choice. If what you say is true, maybe you'll be forgiven. And another thing. You have coveted thy neighbor's wife. Oh. And how do you know about that? For heaven's sake, Henry. It's all over the province. I heard it from the woman down at the river when I was washing bed linen. What? If the women in Sassau were gossiping about it... Yes, 
You might want to avoid the road to Talmberg for a while. She seduced me. It wasn't my fault. Hmm. The Lady of Talmberg ordered me to bring a horse to her and bring wine to her chamber. What could I do? I didn't know what she was after. With that shirt and... and everything. You're saying she forced you? Well, not exactly. But when the Lady of Talmberg offers me a gift, I can hardly refuse. Well, all right. But don't forget, in the end, it's you who are responsible for your own deeds. Uh, I'll remember that. Henry, killing another human being is no trivial thing. And you did other bad things, too. You can't just wave it all away. You have to unburden your soul and repent of all your bad deeds. I said I was sorry, didn't I? That's nowhere near enough. You have to undertake a pilgrimage of penance. On the way, you'll have plenty of time to meditate on your sins. Go to Ujitz. There's a Marian church there. Put on a penitent's robe and walk barefoot as a sign of humility. All right. And will that really relieve my soul? If you do it sincerely and with humility, contemplating your sins, Our Lady will see and bless you. But what if I can't carry the weight of my sins? You've carried it up to now. Yes, because I never had to think about it. Until now. If you find the burden too great, pray, and it will be lightened. If you pass a cross or shrine along the way, stop and pray for forgiveness, and it will give you the strength to go on. God will help you to bear the weight of any sin that you sincerely repent for in your prayers. For every sin, sincere repentance at each sacred place. For every repentance, absolution. Thank you, Yahanka. I suppose facing up to my sins is really the only thing I can do now. And when you get to Ujitz, pray to the Virgin Mary to intercede with God for forgiveness and mercy. And when you've finished, give a donation to the church. Oh? How much? Give the church 600 groschen. That should do. Don't waste time. Get going right away. I'll expect you back in a week. How should I begin? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Lord Jesus, forgive me for stealing and behaving like a sinful thief. I'm ashamed of myself, and I won't do it again. From now on, I'll be honest and honourable. Amen. God Almighty, have mercy on me and forgive me for committing the terrible sin of taking a life. Grant me mercy and let me find peace. I beg you. Amen. My, this one has seen better days. I ought to tell someone about it. But now, Almighty God, please grant us peace that we may rebuild this little shrine. And maybe Scalitz too. Amen. Forgive me, God, for sinning with Lady Stephanie. Amen. I should pray for Ma and Pa. Mary. Holy Mother of God, please intercede for my parents. They never did anything wicked. Pray that their souls may find peace in God's kingdom. Amen. Jesus, I often drank and indulged more than I should have. Please help me overcome my intemperance. Amen. So, I made it this far. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Mm. I don't know the rest in Latin. But she'll understand my native tongue too, won't she? Holy Mary, Queen of Heaven, Merciful Mother, Just Virgin, Loving, yes, loving and, uh, and forgiving. Please look down on me and hear me, a great sinner. I want to say sorry and repent, to do penance for for being such a villain and for all the terrible things I did. I have sinned terribly. I killed a man, Runt. He was a criminal and a murderer and he, he deserved it, but I shouldn't have killed him, even though he deserved it. It's not for me to judge and punish others. It was a sin committed in anger, and it burdens my soul. Please forgive me, and let me make amends. And I killed other people too. Oh, merciful Mother of God. Sometimes righteously, sometimes I had to, but sometimes I was simply overcome by anger and... Oh, please forgive me. And I did all sorts of wicked deeds. I lied and 
and stole and behaved like a villain and a thug. I'm truly sorry for my deeds. I promise I won't do them again. And I'll make a donation to the church to make amends for everything. And I have fornicated. I'm ashamed of it. But I'll be more virtuous from now on, I promise. Well, as I said, I have sinned. But at heart, I'm not a bad person. I know I failed in some of the trials you sent me, but please, give me a chance to make amends. I beg your forgiveness, Almighty God. Please forgive a humble sinner, as Jesus Christ forgave those who nailed him to the cross. Mother of God, intercede with God for the souls of my parents, and let them find mercy in the kingdom of heaven. They were honest people, who didn't deserve what happened to them. And I promise I'll be virtuous, the most virtuous of men, so as not to bring shame to their memory. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in Celis, sanctificetum God be with you. I want to make a donation to the church as a token of repentance for the things I did wrong. Here you are. And I gladly accept your offering, my son. I'll pray for your forgiveness. But I'm curious, how come you got so devout all of a sudden? Has something happened? Johanka sent me to do penance to the Virgin Mary and make a donation to her church. Johanka? Yes, Father. It's a, it's a long story. Not to worry, lad. I had to listen to a lot of long stories at the university in Prague. Each of the masters tried to speak longer than the others so as not to appear less learned. I can handle it, believe me. All right. If you like. Johanka is a girl from Scalitz. I've known her since, well, all my life. But recently, some, um, peculiar things have been going on. Haven't they everywhere? These are dark times. No, wait, though. This is something different. The Virgin Mary has been appearing to Johanka. What? Are you serious? Yes. Our Lady visits her in her dreams and shows her, well, I don't know what. Johanka says the Virgin tells her some some words of wisdom, and wants her to pass them on to the people. Good Lord. What does she show her? Tell me. Well, once she preached to the people about how we were all sinners and must repent. Otherwise, beasts of hell would come for us and rip us to pieces. Something like that. But if we're virtuous, Our Lady will drive the beasts away, save us. Of course, when Johanka speaks, it sounds a lot better, really. She speaks completely differently than she usually does. Like... Well, like some kind of angel. Damn. That sounds very... Uh, I don't know, Henry. You wouldn't be making it up by any chance. Couldn't believe it myself at the start. And now you do? Uh, I'm not really sure to tell the truth. I see. Hmm. Well, that is really extraordinary. And what do the people think of all this? Well, the people of Sasau go to listen to her. Well, some of them. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. The masters of Prague ought to hear this. Some might even agree. And what about you, Henry? What do you think of it? Me? I... I really don't know what to make of it. But your hanker would never lie. And what do you think? You're a learned man. It's hard to say. Maybe I should go to Sasso and see for myself. Thank you for telling me, lad. 
One thing is certain, though. There are interesting times ahead. That you can be sure of. More interesting than now. Don't know if I'll be able to handle that. Anyway, I should get back to your hunker. I shouldn't keep her waiting. God be with you, Father. Wait a moment. You came here the whole way from Sasso on foot? I did. I made a pilgrimage of penance. I stopped to pray at every shrine and cross along the way. By the way, that shrine before Talmberg, by the path from Sasau, I don't know what happened to it, but someone should see to getting it fixed. You noticed, eh? Yes, I know about that. It's just that there hasn't been the means to get it fixed, see? It just occurred to me, this affair with Johanka reminds me of a manuscript I made a copy of once. You might find it interesting. If you want, you can come with me and I'll find it for you. Or stop by the Presbytery later. All right, Father. Thanks. See you later. Huh? Where could I have put it? I knew it was a mistake to put it in a safe place. Ah, here it is. About that manuscript, Father. Ah, excellent. Look, I found it. Copied excerpts from the work of Magister Parisiensis. The who? Matthew of Yanov, the master of Paris as he was known. He studied there, he was a university master, he traveled a lot and was very learned. Hmm. Did I tell you about Jan Hus? Oh yeah. I'm not likely to forget that in a hurry. Ha <laughs> ha, right, me neither. Anyway, as I was saying, Hus wasn't alone, see? There are other masters who have similar ideas, just that Hus knows how to talk about it better than anyone. But this Matthew, he was one of those who thought much the same as Hus. And what use will that be to me? I can't say, but it came to mind when you were talking about Johanka, because Matthew wrote about similar things, about women who had visions and the like. I've got a copy here. I'll lend it to you if you promise to bring it back. You do know how to read, don't you? Of course I do. By Christ, lad, you're a regular scholar. Here you are, then. I'm sure it's in good hands. You can bring it back to me when you're passing again. Ah, all right, thanks. You're welcome, lad. Now run along and don't keep your honka waiting. 